Morning, everybody. Back again. I'm kind of in the middle of different projects here, which is my normal. I go from one thing to the next. I want to work on this pole behind me. See my flight pole behind me? In the meantime, I want to get my big compressor running. Uh, I haven't changed oil in quite a while. It's definitely due. It's overdue. So I'm going to change that first. So in the meantime, I'm going to turn the camera on here and show you exactly what I'm doing here before I make a big mess and get my wife mad at me. This is my compressor. Now, it was originally a 240 volt compressor. I changed it over to a 110 compressor just by changing the motors. That's all. Now right down here is my oil drain. Now if you notice, if I pull this plug out, it's going to drip oil all the way down the tank, all the way under the machine. So what I'm going to do is put a adapter on here. A piece of pipe. Give you a straight down look at it so you see exactly what it's going to do. See how that's going to work? Now if I put this inside here, like that, I can control where the oil goes to. Like so. See how that works? Pretty slick. The oil is cold, so it's going to take a while to run out, but be a lot faster doing this than making a big mess on my floor. Once it's this tank, it's going to go all the way underneath and go anywhere. It's anybody's guess. Anyways, quick DIY video, how to do things. Um, I got my oil ready to go in here next. I'm going to change it out of here and make it run a little better. I'm probably going to need my air tools to uh, clean this uh, flagpole off. That stuff's on there pretty thick. I've tried with my uh, wire brush on my drill and it just wasn't cutting it. So I think I have to go to the air tools. Anyways, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Mm -hmm.